And I was wondering, I'm going to, well, I'm going to speak to you about the Falcon because I'm sure nobody else has today. No. Um, Civil War is not far away. What can we expect of Falcon in that endeavor? Uh, a lot of flying and ass kicking. I think, uh, <laughs> you know, I think the trailer for Civil War, the first one, was so great because it lets you know when Cap says, when I ask Cap, what do we do? And he says, fight. I let you know what's going on in the second half of that movie. I mean, but you get a real, really authentic sense of all of those involved in the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe that it's a really great place to be and it's a real kind of family, no matter which kind of separate franchise people are attached to. Is, is that the case from someone in the inside? It is, it is. And there's a, there's a mutual uh, respect and appreciation whenever somebody is um, uh, introduced into the Marvel Universe, into the Marvel family. Um, the great thing about it is no one in the Marvel Universe does the movies for the opportunity of having a spinoff or their own movie. They do it because we really enjoy and like these characters and love being, love the solidarity of the group and the team. You know, it's, um, it's, it's, it's just, it's fun. You know, it's fun to see where Falcon started when the first meeting I had with Marvel to where the Falcon is now. But do you, have, do you have a lot of input in that yourself? I mean, are you able to communicate your kind of ideas of where the character could go? What you... uh, definitely, definitely. And uh, fortunately, the Russos, are, the Russo brothers are very open to actors giving them feedback and input because we play the characters. You know, you look at Chris Evans has been playing Cap for a long time, so he knows Cap extremely well. So a lot of times, you know, they write the first draft of the script, send it to Chris and see what he thinks. And then from that, they develop and build the character film by film. And that, because Chiwetel was obviously one of the, the latest recruits of the mm -hmm. Marvel Universe. Mm -hmm. Is there like an initiation ceremony for newcomers? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's, I remember when, you know, Paul Rudd got cast as uh, Ant-Man and everybody was just, really happy about it. Everybody was really excited for him. You know, when I got cast as the Falcon, everybody was really excited for me. You know, there was, you know, you show up on set and everybody's like, yes, you're finally here. What does your costume look like? This is going to be so cool. You know, just adding more characters. So it's, um, it's more of a appreciation and excitement for the evolution of the universe than initiating a specific actor. So you compare costumes on set? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, yeah. Everybody always wants to know how is your costume different from the last movie. Yeah. And then the first time you come out the trailer, you know, everybody comes over and checks out your costume. Yeah. That's the first day is literally just all of us standing around checking out each other's costume. Like wearing a new pair of trainers to the first day back at school after a summer pretty holiday. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. It's all about, you know, it's like sports, you know, when your team comes out with a new uniform, the first thing you're going to do is run and go get that uniform. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Yeah.